Hello everyone, I'm Salad, and today we're going to be taking a look at all of the Halo 2 terminal cutscene videos. Now I did play Halo 4, and you can find that playthrough on my channel if you're interested. In that playthrough, I believe I only saw one, maybe two, of these terminal videos. So there's going to be a lot new here to see. Now just to recap what happened in the events of Halo 4, we got stranded on a planet, and... It was a forerunner planet that was hollow. We woke up the uh, the didact. The didact wanted to destroy everything and take the mantle back for the forerunners. He didn't like that humanity was in charge now, and we ended up defeating him. So that was the whole. That was a, in general the whole story that went on there. And of course, and uh, a lot of bad things happened to Cortana along that trip as well. Now, is any of these are any of these cutscenes going to be related to that? I don't think so. I think these are all going to be Forerunner related, which is really interesting because the Forerunner lore is not something that we normally get in these games to a large extent. So I'm going to be interested to see and learn more about their society and what happened back in the past. Now, this first cutscene, I think, is one I've seen before. So we'll see if that's true. This might be the only one that I've seen. Yeah, okay, yeah, we've seen I've seen this one. So their ships are getting destroyed. And I'm gonna be pausing every now and then to get my thoughts as I'm doing this, so hopefully that doesn't annoy anybody. But the forerunners here, they're talking about an enemy. The enemy that they're talking about, I don't believe it's a flood, I think they're talking about humanity, who is attacking, who, who attacked for a Forerunner planet in order to destroy the flood that was on it. So humanity, the Reclaimers, they're doing their best they can to get rid of the flood, but Forerunners aren't too happy with their, their methods. And the mantle that they're talking about is the, um, I don't know what the right word for it is, but their mission to protect all life in the galaxy. And I was given some information from some of my commenters that the precursors who came before the Forerunners actually wanted to give the mantle to humanity, give the mantle to, mantle to the Reclaimers. But the Forerunners were not too happy with that and actually ended up betraying the precursors. Now we haven't seen any of that in any of these cutscenes or, or backstory or lore. So, and uh, since that information was given to me, I'm assuming that that information is not going to be present in any of the criminal cutscenes or lore going forward. Hopefully that wasn't a spoiler that's going to come up as information later on. But I don't think it is. So that gives some interesting context knowing that, rewatching this again, knowing that these forerunners are talking about the mantle that they have to protect, but it's really the, it's really the reclaimers that we're supposed to have it at this point. They must be eradicated. Shall we take revenge? Abandon the mantle and all that its philosophy has given us these thousand generations. So this, I think, is the Builder, not the Didact. So he seems to, to not want to go and attack humanity and reject their mantle that they've been given. All our plans have been torn asunder. More reason not to abandon our beliefs. The mantle is our guidepost in times such as these. Or is we this the Didact? We must not in following its teachings. The enemy must be sent home and taught to stand with the galaxy, rather than rail against us and take what they desire. Okay, no, I think this is the Didact stop speaking here. Mantle shelters all. Didact, you make a fair, if uncomfortable, point. You have my support. Librarian, will you likewise follow the mantle as the Didact suggests? Yes, Master Builder. Okay. So the Builder agrees with stopping, with attacking humanity back. I believe that's what they're discussing here. I could be wrong. You're not angry at me. We had this discussion a century ago. Ah, so you are angry at me. In the chambers, yes. But not now. You'll depart for Requiem soon? At dawn. Ah, okay, the Requiem is where we find him. There. You knew the Master Builder would side with you. Should we step back inside the Council Chamber? No. I would 
would rather we spend our night out here. There will be fighting enough in the days ahead. Okay, let's pause things there because I believe that's the end of the first terminal video. So, we already knew that the librarian and the didact were very close, and of course, this that cutscene reveals just how close. It's interesting that they were talking about going to him going to uh, Requiem though so early on. So I, I know the librarian tries to foil some of the didact's plans. Does the librarian? I, I guess at the this point, the librarian doesn't really know what the didact's planning there. I wonder what the librarian thinks that he's planning at Requiem. I think, th I'm assuming that this is, yep, this is Requiem. Put fear from your heart. War is your realm, Didact, not mine. And you march to this war, facing foes that, while always aggressive, were never so aggressive as they are now. Your fears are unfound. Okay, so I have, I think I have seen this cutscene as well. And I think they are still talking about humanity and how aggressive they're being. The enemy will be turned, and I shall stand by your side once more. Promise me that. I promise you. The enemy will be turned. Will stand between us. Yep, here's the reclaimers. We are in position over the forerunner planet. Show me. Population numbering over two billion. Forerunner ships on alert and inbound. Is it possible? Have we gotten ahead of it? Flood infestation detected, my lord. Uh. Damn it. So they didn't get ahead of it. So the reclaimers, I'm just going to call them reclaimers instead of humanity because I keep using both words. So they were trying to get ahead of the flood and maybe warn the Forerunner planet before they even, the flood even reached them. But I guess they didn't make it in time. And so this is, bef I guess the Forerunners are the didact and the librarian. That in conversation they were having, that seems like it was, if assuming these are chronological, before the reclaimers came and destroyed one of their planets so they were already fighting before all of that now were they fighting only because of the flood why wouldn't the reclaimers just tell them what why they were doing what they were doing maybe they did and the forerunners just thought they could take care of it by themselves i guess that's probably it since they're really protective about their whole mantle thing my lord the infestation is in a remote locale Perhaps if we warn the Forerunners? If, if, if we warn them, we give the Flood time to spread. You know we have no choice. Hmm. Cleanse the planet. Yikes. Oh, there's the Flood. Being blasted. Did you really have to cleanse the whole planet, though? What about just the infected the part? These actions threaten the galaxy, yet we have treated them as the mantle required. Their punishment is just. Justice is reduced. Their punishment is just. Okay, so he said they we've treated them as the mantle required. So, again, uh, this has only been told, told to me in comments, so I don't know the exact details about when this happened but the precursors apparently did not give them the mantle or maybe they did but then revoked it later on i think that i think maybe that's the case so do these forerunners not know that the mantle isn't supposed to be theirs or do they know that the precursors didn't want them to have it as their as their directive but they're just ignoring that anyways, and are just going with that? I don't know. Their genetics in such short generations from a space Hold on, I think I missed some words there. Let me replay that. Doom's actions threaten the galaxy, yet we have treated them as the mantle required. Their punishment is just. Justice is reducing their genetics in such short generations from a space-faring race to... This? 
They are closer now to the animals they behaved as. If not for their encounter with the Flood, their gene plan could have surpassed our own. They could have someday held the mantle of responsibility. The humans were not meant to protect others. The mantle of responsibility for all things is ours, and ours alone. So, where they are now, it's kind of confusing because uh, humanity still exists at this point, I think. So, it, are they looking into, like, digitized versions of humanity that Requiem is creating? Is that what they're looking at right now? Or is this the the remnant, like, is this the humanity that the librarian was cataloging and, and storing? So that they could be, like, repopulated later on? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Yes, the mantle is ours. And we hold it so tight that even in death we shall hold it still. Hmm. Blood's taken over. Hold on, let me see if I can increase the quality here. There we go. Lord of Admirals. So very many years have we battled. Lord of Admirals. Oh, okay. The human admiral. The mantle accepts all who live fiercely, who defend their young, build, and struggle. Nice headshot. And even those who dominate, as humans have dominated, cruelly, without wisdom. So I definitely have heard this dialogue before. I think I've seen, might have seen this one before as well. I guess I saw a lot more of these cutscenes than I thought. Surprised they captured him alive. Soon we will face the enemy you have faced. And we are afraid. Yep, they messed up. My life workers are investigating, but I believe the humans were never attacking us. Tell that to the millions of dead. Okay, so they didn't, they weren't told. That's the confusing thing is why wouldn't the Reclaimers tell the Forerunners what it is they were trying to do? In an advanced age like this, I wouldn't imagine that would be too hard to tell, to give them, to just send that knowledge to them about what was actually happening. So the Forerunners are definitely, they definitely made a mistake in trying to destroy the Reclaimers and, if, and fight back against them, but... It's not really their fault for either for doing that, protecting themselves, if they didn't know why the Reclaimers were doing it in the first place. They didn't give them any kind of reasoning for it. So I don't think the Forerunners can really be blamed for fighting back against humanity and defeating them as they did. The humans were acting as caretakers, pruning away planets so that this infection would not spread. They took the mantle of responsibility upon themselves. And in so doing, they brought this sickness to our shores. Husband. Okay, they took the mantle of responsibility upon themselves, and in doing so, they brought it to their, their shores. So... I mean, you can say that, yes, they tried to take the mantle of responsibility onto themselves, and they were actually doing a good job, it seemed. They, or at least, they were doing what they could, and they were managing it the way that they, the way that they could. The thing that actually got in, in the way of their plans was the Forerunners in that case. 
So this, the didact is talking about how the reclaimers mess things up by taking over the mantle, but it's not them taking over the mantle that messed things up. It's actually the forerunners getting in the way of that that messed everything up. So I'm not sure what he's trying to say there. That if everything was left to them, it would have been all better. That they shouldn't have led everything to the forerunners. It led this problem to them. But it's their job to deal with it in the first place, right? If the forerunners are the true, uh, the true holder of the mantle, then it shouldn't be a problem that humanity led the flood to them and brought this problem upon them. Yeah, with the halo rings. My life workers have made plans for the receding of humanity and of all life after the halos are fired. So you agree the halos life are the only solution? I do. And your husband? My husband has a different opinion of what steps to take against the flood. Ah, uh, okay. So it sounds like they're starting to disagree now. So what's the husband's opinion? What's the didact's opinion on what to do? Um, I, we know that we obviously we find him in Requiem in the events of Halo 4 and he wants to, he, he revives and wants to take back over. But what was his plan other than activating the Halo rings? I'm curious. How is he going to deal with everything? Did it work? Run the simulation. Procedure is a failure. I am still susceptible to flood infection. Ah, oh, he wants to make himself invulnerable that to it. Leaves only the composer. It will not work on my new form. Then you will lead us as always. You would submit to such sacrifice. Didact, if the composer is our final hope to defeat the flood, no Promethean would resist. Okay, so he was trying to make himself invulnerable to the Flood, but it seems like that was not possible, so he's going to digitize himself using the Composer. And uh, that guy was talking about uh, you maybe sacrificing himself, sacrificing his body so that the Forerunner could, uh, sorry, that the Didact could actually go into his body and have a, have a host body. Is that what I, am I understanding that right? I have led you, my Prometheus. For thousands of years, and I shall continue. To thousands of years. These guys live a long time. Rise, rise and the okay. Rise and the so he's got an army of things that can't be infected by flood. His Prometheans, who are all just AI, basically. They're digitized. Cutting through. The flood is still too strong. If you had greater numbers, are you gonna try to digitize a lot more people? All of the forerunners, all of humanity. Humans. Uh yep. Your kind brought the flood to our shores. Now you will aid and threat. Yikes, okay. I see. Now this explains a lot of things about the events of Halo 4 and his motivations. After your deceit, I have an army to build from the raw materials harvested this day. The citizens of this halo are my first conscripts. 
and with them in my thrall, the flood will meet its defeat. Oh, okay, so that was happening on one of the Halo rings. That's where these this human civilization was. So that was the was that the original purpose of the Halo rings was to become a habitat for whatever life forms would remain after the Halo ring activated. So it seems like the librarian placed humanity there to try to repopulate itself after the activation of the rings. This the, this uh, terminal video in particular is shedding a lot of light onto the motivations of the Didact in Halo 4. That was one of the, re one of the um, issues I had with the game was the Didact, his motivations not being totally clear. And if I had watched this terminal video, I think I wouldn't have been as harsh on him. And, or, well, I would have, no, I, I would have been as harsh on him, but what I mean is I would have understood him uh, a little bit more and would have liked him better as a villain if I knew why he was doing what he was doing and if uh, I ended up watching this cutscene video at that time. Humanity's loss of biological form will serve as final payment for their crimes. It is a kindness they do not deserve. Mm. I mean, I understand why he's so angry. Uh, the humanity probably destroyed a lot of their people. But they already destroyed a lot of humanity back. So I don't know. I don't know if that I don't know if that's 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 obviously not not really fair to say. And turning them all into like like I don't know I don't know what his end game is still. Like I know that he wants to fight back against the flood by digitizing humanity. Does he want to do that to the forerunners as well? I'd imagine not. So it seems like what the the didact is doing is he's just he wants to enslave humanity in order for them to atone for their what he perceives as their crimes, as their sins, in order to fight back against the flood and protect everything. Move the other humans to safety. Ensure the security of their index samples. They must finish what we have failed to do. Okay, so that explains. Where are you going? To stop my husband's madness. Okay, so that explains why humanity obviously did not uh, did not come to life on the Halo rings. All the ones of the Halo rings were destroyed. Humanity was uh, apparently moved to Earth, and that's where they sprouted up and began began their uh, began everything anew. My dear husband, I know your crimes, and I have found forgiveness. Oh, you're gonna shoot him? I understand them. I know you. Perhaps better than you could ever hope to know yourself. I ask you, forgive my transgressions. Ooh, okay, she actually did it. Yourself. All I have done. Nice light rifle. I have done for the greater good. Our time as the galaxy's caretakers is past. The Flood have overrun us. In the days to come, the Halo Rings will fire, eradicating the Flood. And all other life, for a time. I have worked hard to index all species in known space. When the time comes, these indexes will open. And once more, the galaxy will breathe and grow. Indexes will open. I know what that means, really. Out of the oceans and through the mud, babes will be born and grow old under the warmth of a thousand suns. So we know the didact isn't dead. So what's going to happen here? Civilizations will rise in our stead, and our job as caretakers will at last bear fruit. Until then, I leave you here, my love. The only living thing in this galaxy, sealed safely away. Spend these ages ahead of you in meditation on your choices. When you wake, okay, so she didn't kill him. I have ensured that they 
will grow strong and vibrant. They will be our rightful heirs. Their gene plan dictates that the galaxy will be theirs to care for by then. I beg of you, find the strength to help them learn from our mistakes. He did not. <laughs> he did not find that strength. That just ended up causing more trouble, but I understand why she can't kill him. In fact, I'm shocked that she was even able to shoot him at all. Interesting. Okay, and that's the end. A bunch of symbols that I don't know what they mean. Okay, so let me go back on that a little bit. So, is he already... Uh, she said that she sealed him, right? She sealed him in this in this place. And she also mentioned the librarian also mentioned that he would be the only living thing left, or or something like that. What did it, what was it exactly that she said? Let me listen again. Will rise in our stead. And our job is caretakers, but the only living thing in this galaxy. The only living thing in this galaxy. The only. Yeah, so she's going to leave him here, the only living thing in this galaxy. That's not really true, though. She left indexes, which I guess maybe you don't consider them living things. I don't know what it, they, I don't even know what she means by an index. Maybe, um, maybe, I'm assuming maybe it's the opposite of a composer. It'll, it's a decomposer. It'll, uh, it'll take the scanned data of what humanity is and, and recreate humanity from that. So maybe he really is the only living thing left, but what other what happened to the rest of the forerunners? Now I did get a um a comment telling me that the after the Halo rings activated, everything was destroyed, um, but the forerunners survived, so they didn't actually kill themselves with the Halo ring. But there was also something else that survived in addition to the forerunners. Now what is that thing? What was it that survived other than the forerunners? I'm assuming that's what killed them later on. I don't know what that thing is. Uh, fortunately, everybody has been pretty vague about giving me spoilers and stuff like that. So I don't know what any of that is about. But I'm curious to learn more about what's happening after these events. So I understand all of this now about what happened between the Forerunners and the Reclaimers and the Flood and activating all the Halo Rings and repopulating everything afterwards. But there is obviously a lot of time that passed and in that time, the Forerunners all died out, except for the Didact here. And humanity started to grow. So there's, there's a missing bit there. There's a missing bit that is about what happened to the Forerunners during that period. To make them go extinct, except for the Didact, of course, here. So I'm going to be curious to see or, or figure out all of that later on. I don't know if that information is going to even come up in any of the later games, but I assume it will. It seems pretty important. Now, why does the librarian believe that he's safe? The didact is safe here? Because the flood could go anywhere, right? And the didact didn't succeed in making himself immune. I guess it's because maybe he already digitized himself at this point, but he didn't look digital. Uh, he looked he looked like he was had no skin and he is like muscles were exposed or whatever right like look at this he doesn't look the same as i don't know he doesn't look like he's 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 digital <laughs> it doesn't look like he's been composed but uh maybe he has at this point i don't know regardless apparently he's safe and immune from the flood at this point and he's the only one left so, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't know if I have anything more to say. A lot of these were uh, things that I've seen already, which surprises me because I didn't actually think that I found as many of these terminal videos as I had in my initial playthrough, but apparently I did. Um, and I know, I think some of these uh, are ones that I saw not in my playthrough, but I reacted to them before that. I, and there's, if you want to see that, there's, there's a, additional videos you can watch on my channel. I believe it was 
which one the ones that showed humanity i think it was this one i think this is one that uh oops i think this is one that i watched before i even started halo 4 and i had no context for it at all but now that i have context it makes a lot more sense so very interesting i'm always uh it's always good to learn more about the forerunners and maybe at some point the precursors and the reclaimers as well the the precursors to humanity it's always good to learn more about that uh, the halo lore is all very fascinating and i feel like the halo games themselves normally didn't lean up it lean into that lore as much as perhaps they they could i feel like the halo games are all a bit more self-contained in their storyline and it would be nice, um, and maybe this will, in some of the future games, this will happen. It'd be nice if they leaned into the uh, the lore of the Forerunners and the Precursors and all those stuff that happened in the past. It'd be nice if they leaned into that more in their storylines in the future, because that's one of the most interesting parts of the, the storyline to me, is the stuff that we don't see in the games. But maybe we will be getting more of that in the future, I don't know. Uh, and after this, I'm going to be hopping straight into Halo 5. So I don't have no clue what that's going to be about. I'm just excited to see what that is. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.